Oh my gosh, there he is. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Attack on Titan episode 87 called The Dawn of Humankind. If you like the video, smash the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. Everyone says Eren has changed. I've thought that too. But maybe all of us are wrong. I mean, I don't even know at this point. Not even like we've seen a lot of the guy in this season. Who's those two people? Wow. Maybe Eren was this way from the start. And if this is the real him, I wonder what I saw in him. Like, I don't know if this is, like, the final, the end of the show. Because I saw there's, like, something after this. Like, that's one hour. And it was, like, episode one. So I don't even know. Oh, damn. So this is when they actually went over. When Hanji still said we lived, like, months outside the walls. Wow, and Levi is still whole. Crazy. The dawn of humanity. It's going to be interesting to see how they lived when they were here. Like, seeing all those things for the first time. Oh, on Yonkopon. Mali's biggest port. Oh man, that's the first time. It's a car. Damn. I think we're bumpkins now. I pretend we don't know them. They'll try feeded carrots. So stay close to me. But like, it's... He already has these memories. Right? Like... It's not like he hasn't seen it before because his dad's memories are back here. Especially you. <laughs> Sasha. Oh, ice cream. <laughs> oh my gosh, these two. Well, that's true. Like, no one's gonna be like, oh, these people are from the island just because they're acting like that. They think they're evil. Oh, a clown. And he called him a kid because he's so short. Unikitty gang. Wow, Elden's in the zone really get to have it. I mean, you can just see in his eyes already, he's like... I don't know, he's just got rage. Another enemy migrant. Oh, uh, now you're starting to see the other side of the world. Like, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. So we gotta punish him to set an example. Wow, he could be a subject of Ymir. 
どの国も血液検査に焼きになってるからな。あくまで血がその辺に紛れてちゃ夜も眠れない。Devils could be in their midst. You see how much they know compared to the people in the walls. All I said was that ain't your purse. Belongs to his big sister, yeah. <laughs> I smell bullshit. Talk about not causing a big scene. And he still took it, anyways. Oh, so basically, it's just the people in the internment zone to escape. Wow. Sign of status amongst the world's elite. That's probably like the royal blood, I'm guessing. And now they like hearing the the history. We'll have to go along with Zeke's plan. That's someone else that just like vanished from the show, Historia. Like, they made it seem like she was gonna be like this big impact, and then she became queen and like got pregnant and then just disappeared. So yeah, that's originally what they wanted was peace. Like to have the conversation, but then because of Aaron, they didn't even get the chance because he just went off on his own. We have to give it our best shot. But yeah, that's the thing. I don't. This isn't the last. Ep or this isn't like the closing of the show. I think there's some big special thing after this, which is like an hour and ten minutes, which is gonna be crazy. Where's Aaron? You see, he had this thousand yard stare, like. Ever since, like, he kissed Historia's hand and got, like, the memories jolted back into him. Nothing yet. The place where people lost their homes to war. So it's basically like refugees. Damn. Why do you care so much about me? What am I to you? I think he's inviting us. Oh, so now they're enjoying a meal with the migrants, I guess. Oh, that's probably like tea or something. Oh, he's drunk. Man, I don't know, this is like heavy on the soul, bro. It's like I'm so torn, bro. Because it's like they they're starting to make sense, you know, in terms of like the reasoning behind why Aaron would do what he did. Because he see he looks at these people over here and he's like they get treated like garbage by uh, the people in the real world. 
but they just lost their homes. But now we actually spend time with them and we had a better time with them than we did with the other people. But they're not welcome. They're not accepted. So it's like, it's the same pattern that keeps happening. They are not Aldeans, nor is it they believe in the Empire's dangerous ideologies. Those island devils are a true enemy. So that's, now you see they're having like hearings in court. And so obviously through this, Eren looks at it and they left already. That, oh, the day Eren left us. He didn't trust Zeke with everything. So he thought it was a lost cause. Oh man. So that was like the four years. Very interesting like history in this episode. Oh, what if I'd given him a different answer? So she blames herself. Oh man. It doesn't matter. I wonder if this is his memories of being the founder now. Everything happened by my will. Everything comes after this. I'll pretend to go along with Zeke's plan. Oh, he even mentioned it to Floak. Oh wow. Sees the fight them or run away. The history, obviously. Wow, so the story went along with it. Wow, so he actually told Fluk. Oh, so she disagreed with him. The only way to end the cycle of revenge fueled by hatred is to bury our hateful history along with civilization itself. I want, they want you to bear children's sacrifices for the island. I won't let kids eat their parents anymore. Damn. So he, like I was saying the last time, he became like King Fritz. I won't be able to live with myself. Who saved me back then? Man. A reflex to protect their host. I doubt it's anything like that. Wow, has nothing to do with forced behavior. Damn. So you just use that, but it's not true. He actually doesn't have, a, like, some hold on her. I've got four years to live at best. Oh, is that when he took off his leg and took out his eye? Even after I'm dead, their lives will go on. I want them to. Man, a bullet to the eye. To live and be happy. Man. You see, this episode is like... It's just pushing it more into the direction of where... We will be okay if Eren got killed. Like, that's what I feel this episode is doing. Has been gathered here today. 
Wow. So is this what's happening like right now? Going for the founder. If we can't stop this here, then nobody will. This might be for the rumbling, I'm guessing. Wow. And you just see like all that smoke coming across the ocean. War begins. I wonder if it even really affects them. Oh, it does. But like, I wonder if they're the same as normal titans where you have to destroy the nape. Or do they just heal as well? Crazy. Wow, look how gigantic it is compared to that ship. It is colossal, so it must be. Because look, just the, the heat alone burnt that guy up. Wow. Oh my gosh. Colossals. Man, heavy. All because all because they went to his home. Wow. You're like you're running and your like your pants is just full. That's how scared you are. Oh my gosh. There he is. Shingeki no Kyojin. Wow, he looks crazy, dude. Like I said, I wipe out all of them. Every last one of them from this world. Wow, that was hectic. That was absolutely hectic, man. I mean, like, something I was thinking about was like right in the beginning when he's like, I'm gonna wipe everyone out. You were, we were all like kind of behind him, right? Like, yeah, get them, Aaron. You know, because we thought it was like Titans. So we're like, yeah, go and get them, you know, get strong, do whatever you can. Oh, you're a Titan yourself. Yeah, go wipe them all out. But then once we have all the information and now we see it again, it's like, why are we trying to think about it in any other way? It's like we were the ones supporting him in the beginning. Now we're like, ah, that's like, it's wrong because not everybody there is a bad guy. And... But what I do feel like that episode just did right now was it was it almost made it okay for him to get killed in this like to end this whole thing off because now we got to see how he became like that in terms of like the nuances in between like them actually going outside the war living there for a few months and then him leaving them once he saw all those things he saw those people the refugees and he saw how they were treated right and so that's why he goes oh it's not just like a subjects of Ymir thing it's actually just like how the world is they treat outsiders like this and they always do it i'm gonna change that i'm gonna wipe them all out so yeah and then we find out that mikasa isn't actually under any um control by him there isn't like the akaman curse for from her she's just like really devoted to him because she loves him which I think will be a big thing aspect. Because he might think that Mikasa can't do anything to him. But then she might just be, like go against herself completely and actually kill him. Who knows. Uh, but that would be the only... Like I said, as poetic as it is for Floak to get shot. The only thing that makes like true sense is for Mikasa to kill Eren. Because she's always protecting him. So... But I mean, crazy man. Goosebumps all over for this episode. And let's see what this hour 10 minutes thing is about. This looks like I got my work cut out for me. But that's going to be it for me. If you liked the video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you want. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.